The Honeywell 316 was a popular 16-bit minicomputer built by Honeywell starting in 1969. It is part of the Series 16, which includes the models 116 1965, Discrete, 316 1969, 416 1966, 516 1966, and DDP 716 1969. They were commonly used for data acquisition and control, remote message concentration, clinical laboratory systems, remote job entry and time sharing. The Series 16 computers are all based on the DDP-116 designed by Gardner Hendry at Computer Control Company, Inc. 3C, in 1964. The 516 and later the 316 were used as Interface Message Processors for the ARPANET. History Computer Control Company developed a computer series named Digital Data Processor, of which it built two models DDP-116 the first of the series 16 DDP-124 part of a trio of 24-bit systems, DDP-24, 124, 224, Honeywell bought the company after the 24 trio, and built the balance of the series 16. The H316 was used by Charles H. Moore to develop the first complete, standalone implementation of 4th at NRAO. The Honeywell 516 was used in the NPL network, the first packet switching network. The 516 and later the 316 were used as interface message processors for the ARPANET. It could also be configured as a terminal IMP tip, which added support for up to 63 teletype machines through a multi line controller. The original Prime computers were designed to be compatible with the Series 16 minicomputers. The Honeywell 316 also had industrial applications. A 316 was used at Bradwell Nuclear Power Station in Essex as the primary reactor temperature monitoring computer until summer 2000, when the internal 160K disk failed. Two PDP 1170s, which had previously been secondary monitors, were moved to primary. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hardware description. The 316 succeeded the earlier DDP 516 model and was promoted by Honeywell as suitable for industrial process control, data acquisition systems, and as a communications concentrator and processor. The computer processor was made from small scale integration DTL monolithic integrated circuits. Most parts of the system operated at 2.5 MHz, but some elements were clocked at 5 MHz. The computer was a bitwise parallel 2's complement system with 16-bit word length. The instruction set was a single address type with an index register. Initially released with a capacity of 4096 through 16384 words of memory, later expansion options allowed increasing memory space to 32768 words. Memory cycle time was 1.6 microseconds, an integer register to register. Add. Instruction took 3.2 microseconds. An optional hardware arithmetic option was available to implement integer multiply and divide, double precision load and store, and double precision 31 -bit integer addition and subtraction operations. It also provided a normalization operation, assisting implementation of software floating point operations. The programmer's model of the H316 consisted of the following registers. The 16-bit A register was the primary arithmetic and logic accumulator. The 16-bit B register was used for double-length arithmetic operations. The 16-bit program counter holds the address of the next instruction. A carry flag indicated arithmetic overflow. A 16-bit X index register was also provided for modification of the address of operands. The instruction set had 72 arithmetic, logic, I/O, and flow control instructions. Input/output instructions used the A register and separate input and output 16-bit buses. A 10-bit I/O control bus, consisting of six bits of device address information and four bits of function selection, was used. 
The basic processor had a single interrupt signal line, but an option provided up to 48 interrupts. In addition to a front panel display of lights and toggle switches, the system supported different types of input output devices. A Teletype Model 33 ASR teleprinter could be used as a console I.O. device and in the most basic systems to load and store data to paper tape. Smaller systems typically used a high-speed paper tape reader and punch for data storage. The Honeywell family of peripherals included card readers and punches, line printers, magnetic tape, and both fixed-head and removable hard disk drives. A rack-mounted configuration weighed around 150 pounds (68 kilograms) and used 475 watts of power. Honeywell advertised the system as the first mini computer selling for less than $10,000. The Honeywell 316 has the distinction of being the first computer displayed at a computer show with semiconductor RAM memory. In 1972, a Honeywell 316 was displayed with a semiconductor RAM memory board they used core memory previously. It was never placed into production, as DTL was too power-hungry to survive much longer. Honeywell knew that the same technology that enabled the production of RAM spelled the end of DTL computers, but wanted to show that the company was cutting edge. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> System software. Honeywell provided up to 500 software packages that could run on the H316 processor. A Fortran IV compiler was available, as well as an assembler, real-time disk operating systems and system utilities and libraries. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen computer The Honeywell Kitchen Computer, or H316 pedestal model, of 1969 was a short-lived product offered by Neiman Marcus as one of a continuing series of extravagant gift ideas. It sold for $10,000 $77,804 in 2016 dollars, weighed over 100 pounds over 45 kilograms and was advertised as useful for storing recipes. The imagined uses of the Honeywell Kitchen Computer also included assistance with meal planning and balancing the family checkbook, the marketing of which included highly traditional and patronizing representations of housewives. Reading or entering these recipes would have been nearly impossible for the average housewife or cook, since the user interface required the user to complete a two-week course just to learn how to program the device, using only toggle switch input and binary light output. It had a built-in cutting board and had a few recipes built in. No evidence has been found that any Honeywell kitchen computers were ever sold. The full text of the Neiman Marcus advertisement reads, If she can only cook as well as Honeywell can compute, her souffles are supreme, her meal planning a challenge. She's what the Honeywell people had in mind when they devised our kitchen computer. She'll learn to program it with a cross-reference to her favorite recipes by NM's own Helen Corbett, then by simply pushing a few buttons obtain a complete menu organized around the entree. And if she pales at reckoning her lunch tabs, she can program it to balance the family checkbook. 84A 10600.00 complete with two-week programming course. 84B fed with Corbett data, the original Helen Corbett cookbook with over 1,000 recipes $100.75 84C her potluck, 375 of our famed Zodiac restaurant's best kept secret recipes 3.95.75 Corbett Epicure 84D her lab aired apron, one size, hours alone by Clairdon House, multi-pastel provincial cotton 26.00. 90 Trophy room Although a fantasy gift, the kitchen computer represented the first time a computer was offered as a consumer product. <laughs>